Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Time to take that walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews. Today we got us a beer from Real Ale Brewing. They're out of Texas. Uh, this is their American Porter. And what it says on the bottle here it says Seasonal Release Coffee Porter Brewed with Cat's Coffee. Unfiltered, unpasteurized. And it doesn't have the ABV that I can see here, but it does have a best before date that I'm not a fan of, of February the 2nd of 2017. Uh, unless this is covering it up, and I don't see it, so it's uh, there's no ABV on the on the bottle. That needs to be on there, guys. I do not see it. So uh, Scott uh, Texas '96 on the upper label, but Lord only knows how. What that means, and like yesterday, uh, the beer advocate sites just sitting here spinning around, guys. I don't know what's up with them. Uh, I guess that little squirrel in that cage that runs their website's kind of, kind of tired or something. I don't know. Uh, so if it don't come up, uh, we won't use them. All right. Uh, says here. Hmm. Says nine point six. Oh, no, that's not right. Uh, it's still sitting there from yesterday's beer review. That's not right. Uh, beer Advocate has it at 5.60, and Untapped has it at 6.6. .6. And with it not being on the bottle, who are we going to believe? I mean, it amazes me that these people put out beers and don't put the ABV. I'll be used as optional. It'd be nice to have that information. But they don't put the ABV on there, and if they're doing different, if the if it changes from year to year, how are you to know? So, Brandon sent me this beer, so thanks a bunch, Brandon C. down in Texas. Uh, it doesn't look like a uh, right, uh, right beer is is going to come up. Uh, it's still sitting here spinning around. So, uh, without further ado, like I said, I have no idea uh, unless we're going with Untapped at 5.6 or 6.6 percent. .6 at 35 IBUs. So, I find Untapped to be a little more reliable than Rate Beer and Beer Advocates because uh, I don't know who maintains their websites or how that information is updated, but it does, a lot of times it seems to be uh, on the hind tit. I mean, uh, their information is wrong. So, we're going to go with Untapped. Hopefully that's correct. I mean, I have no other alternative to, uh, to do. So, we will see. We shall see. I don't think there's anything else we're going to talk about on this one, so let's get it on. All right. Food pairing says cuisine is barbecue, cheesy butter, brie, good old barbecue swiss. Goes well with your chocolate dishes. And the meat is beef, smoked meat, and grilled meat. Glass water, the pint, bacchanal, tumbler mug, style sadel. I'm using my favorite tulip glass today and not recommended for extended cellaring. So whenever they say that, if it's been an eight percenter, they would say you could sell it. Well, no matter what style of beer it is, it's because ABV is bigger than seven percent. Anyway, hardly any head poured on that. Over to the light, it is pretty dark in the big thick part of the glass here, but I am getting some red ribbiness uh, through the thin part of the glass here. Very typical for a porter. A lot of times they are not pitch black. They're they're the as the lighter version of a stout, the porters are, or they were originally meant to be. Now, 
now we're doing imperial porters and all this kind of stuff, so it kind of defeats what the porter was intended to be originally, so it's good to know that. Oh yeah, rich roasted malt, coffee, bittersweet chocolate, wonderful aroma. Now these guys are really, I'll do some really good stuff, but the information on the bottle leaves a little bit to be desired. They need to go away from this best before date. That's that's a bunch of horse shit as far as I'm concerned. And they need to put the ABV on the bottle. It'd be nice to have the IBUs too. Those are the three bits of information that we need. Uh, and some kind of commercial description saying Uncle Sam or Uncle Bruce or whoever it is did this and that and the other is irrelevant to me. Give us that three bits of information. And if you got room on the label to put some kind of sad story or whatever you want to hype up, that's fine. But give us the IBUs, the ABV, and the bottled on date. That's what we need. That's before. Enjoy by. Use by. Whatever is horse hockey. That's time. Let's dive in. Cheers. Cheers, Brandon. Thank you, sir. Very nice. A little on the thin side, but the porters are. They're the lower or the smaller brother of what the stouts are. That's very nice. Definitely getting the coffee. The coffee's up in the front seat, guys. Very nice. If you're not a coffee fan, you won't like this. If you are, you probably will like this. Very tasty. Rich roasted malt, almost to the burnt characteristics on this. Very tasty. And looking down here, the Alchemist Web, uh, Al Alchemist, the uh, Rake beer. That was yesterday's beer, that's why I was saying the Alchemist sitting here. And that little wheel is just a spinning around. Maybe they didn't pay their, maybe they didn't pay their bill. That's why it's spinning around. I don't know. It's hard to tell. This is tasty. And these guys do some really good stuff. Yeah, very nice. You could probably drink, drink this for breakfast. Uh, uh, being a coffee porter. And uh, I don't know if 6.6 .6 is accurate or not. You might want to drink it on the weekend if you ain't got to work. Uh, that might be a little bit big ABV to drink this and go to work. You might get in trouble. Yeah. But let me sip on this right out of the fridge, 40 degrees, let it warm up, see if we can get any other flavors or tastes out of it. Let's see what it tastes like at the end of the review. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Got a little bit left. Very nice coffee porter. And I've told you this before, guys. When the porters were basically designed for back in the 1700s, uh, it was for over in England or the UK, whatever, uh, designed for the guys that were working, and they were like three, three and a half percent back then. Uh, they could have this with their lunch or dinner or whatever shift they were working in and be able to go back to work because the water wasn't that good back then. And... Uh, it was made to be something very easy drinking low alcohol that wouldn't make them inebriated and they could still function and go back to work. So, and now that the Americans have got their hands on it, uh, they keep kicking it up a notch, two, three, twelve, and we got five, four, five, six, seven percenters, even the Imperials, they go eight, nine, ten percent on the, on the porters now, Imperial porters and stuff. So, uh, there's a fine line once you get up to those large ABV Imperial Porters between those and the Stouts. And it's all up to the brewer what he wants to call it, whether he wants to call it a Porter or a Stout once you get up to the 8, 9, 10 percenters. So it's all, it's all relevant to what the brewer wants to call it once you get into those bigger ABVs. But this is a very nice one. Uh, and if, uh, like I said, the... Uh, the right beer site's still sitting here spinning around, so I mean, I don't know what's going on there. Uh, 
Untapped has it at 6.6%. .6%. That's not on the bottle, so that's what we're going to go with. And that's a fairly big beer. The alcohol, if it's a 6.6%er, .6 the alcohol is very, 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 very well hidden. So, uh, nice coffee taste. The coffee's up in the front seat. Very pleasant. Final cup. Very, very nice, guys. Very easy drinking for 6.6%. A lot of coffee notes. Roasted malt. Bittersweet chocolate. Maybe some slight hints of some fruit, but it is very subdued in this beer. I liked it. Very enjoyable. Brandon, thanks again, my brother, for sending it to me. Uh, we can't go to Ray Beer because evidently the website's down. I don't know. Uh, we'll go over to Beer Advocate to start off with, and they say 86 in the very good range. And uh, over to Untapped, they have it at 3.76, uh, which is fairly good numbers. It's not quite to the forward, but both of those are fairly good numbers, and I agree with both of those guys. Uh, uh, it is a very nice, very nice beer. Rating for me would probably be about the same. Uh, I usually give you my numbers before I go there, but... It's uh, nothing outstanding. I, I don't think it's an A beer, guys. I'll be honest with you. It's not. Uh, I've had better. I've had worse. But uh, I, I would want to see more information on this beer, especially the ABB. And the Enjoy By sucks. Uh, at least they made an attempt. Uh, they're giving us, and I don't know what these guys' shelf life is. Is it two months, three months, six months? I don't know what they're giving you. I don't know when this beer was done. That's why I prefer the bottled on date. Let me make that decision. Whether I want to drink it at one month old, two months old, three months old, or whatever. Enjoy by, it leaves the spectrum wide open. Because some of these beer companies give it three, four, six months. Some of them even give it a year or longer on this style of beer. Especially being a 6.6 percenter. So that's why I want the bottled on date. So this enjoy by crap. But... It is what it is, and we got to deal with it. So, uh, Brandon, once again, thank you, my friend, my brother, for sending this to me. It was a very enjoyable beer. Uh, guys, if you've had this beer, let me know what you think of it. It is a very tasty beer, but nothing uh, to go out of the way with uh, for or anything like that. If you're in Texas, pretty sure that's about as far as this beer is distributed because they're really taunting us Texas-only beer. Uh, but it is tasty beer. So, uh, uh, I don't know what this beer costs for a six-pack. Uh, Brandon, you may elaborate on that in the comments, what a six-pack of this costs. But it is, a, it is a very enjoyable beer. So, if you've had it, let me know what you think, guys. This is the Coffee Porter from Real Ale Brewing Company out of Texas. Come on back tomorrow. Let's take something tasty out of the fridge. See you then.